Hi friends, in this section we will uh, study about uh, uh, an example for calculations in which we will calculate the cable size. Uh, so the first step is to calculate the uh, data, collect the data. So we have electrical load of 80 kW, distance between source and load is 200 meters, the length of the cable is 200, system voltage is uh, 415 volts, 3 phase, power factor is 0.8. Um, and if you see my previous lectures, you will understand there are, there are two components in, in the basically the uh, cable, which is resistance and reactance. And uh, depending upon power factor, voltage drop is uh, appeared. So we have to use a power factor here. Then we have permissive voltage drop is 5% is allowable. Demand factor is 1. And what is the demand factor? As mentioned, a term constantly used in modern design is demand factor. The ratio of maximum demand of a system or part of a system to connected load on the system uh, part of system is uh, always less than one so maximum demand divided by the connected load for example a house when the connection is uh, uh, awarded uh, the maximum demand can be 3 kilowatt whereas connected load could be 2 kilowatt so Mm, and this is how the maximum demand is factor is calculated. Then we have a cable link detail. Cable is direct buried in ground in trench uh, at depth of one meter. Ground temperature is approximately 35 degrees. Number of cable per trench is one. Number of runs per cable is one run. Soil details. The summer resistivity of soil is not known. Nature of soil is uh, damp soil. So we will start doing the calculations. The consumed load uh, here is total load is equal to uh, is equal to total load into demand factor. Okay, so consumed load is equal to 80 into 1. Demand factor is 1, which means connected load is same as uh, 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 basically uh, maximum demand which is equal to 80 kilowatt consume load in kva is equal to kilowatt divided by power factor consume load is equal to 81.8 which is 100 kva it means it's basically uh, uh, it's a consume load then we have full load current which is equal to kv into 1000 divided by 100 root 3 uh, into voltages full load current is equal to 139 amperes so it mean it is uh, we have calculated the full load current calculating correction factor of cable from uh, following data temperature correction factor when air is so now what we have seen here that uh, we have here uh, the load that we need to supply is 80 kilowatts and the cable that we are using to supply the load is 200 meter and the system voltage is 415 volts power factor of the uh, system uh, or of the load is 0.8 and permissive voltage is 5% now we have to calculate uh, which conductor which mm uh, type of conductor millimeters we should use this is basically the question and uh, um, uh, and uh, why you are taking the cable link details cable link details because uh, as we have seen already there is a k factor or correction factor depending upon the installation we have to calculate the installed current carrying capacity because uh, a manufacturer is providing a base current and then if you if you are using this cable under the ground in the tray or somewhere then the rating will have to be multiplied with some constant it might uh, derate the cable so there are two different rating one is basically the base current and another is basically the installed current capacity the soil is uh, resistivity and soil condition it is damp which is dry is also important so if you uh, link the cable more in depth the current carrying capacity of that cable will reduce and if the soil is more uh, damp then the current carrying capacity of the uh, cable will increase so we have done all the calculations So now we will let's see the temperature correction factor for KOM and cable is in here. So here is basically the data for K1. So we have if the ambient temperature is 10 degrees, 
and it is PVC or XLP and then this is the correction factor so we are using the cable is uh, here we can see the approximate ambient temperature is 35 degrees centigrade so we can see uh, 35 if you're using if you're using PVC we have to multiply the base current rating uh, with 0.87 and if you're using XLP or EPR we have to apply, multiply with 0.91 similarly we have ground, ground temperature correction factor so this is the temperature of ground so we have to see okay ground temperature is 35 degrees centigrade okay so we have to use an ambient temperature uh, is normally used at 40 degrees centigrade in hot areas similarly we have correction factor for uh, resistive correction factor k4 so we have different resistivity we don't know the resistivity of our soils we will take an, an uh, factor you can ignore this uh, condition of soil is wet so we can take it correction factor 1.13 cable depth as per the cable depth we can also select the rating e rating factor then we have a cable distance we can also choose how much is the distance between different cables and we can select correction factor also then we have uh, cable grouping so we have we have no tray so we will use one so according to above detail correction factors are ground temperature correction factor p2 is 0.89 soil correction factor is 1.05 cable depth correction factor is 1 cable distance correction factor is 1 total deviating factor here is 0.93 so uh, uh, correction factor uh, as per the provided data when you multiply all together is 0.93 so here for selection of proper cable following conditions should be satisfied cable deviating amps should be higher than the full load current uh, full load current uh, cable voltage drop should be less than the defined voltage drops number of runs of cables full load current by cable deviating factor Cable short circuit capacity should be higher than the system short circuit capacity at the point. So we have now two options with us. Uh, let's see selection one. We select first of all 3.5 core 70 square mm cable for single run. So the current capacity of 70 square mm cable is 170 amperes. Resistance is 0.57 ohms per kilometer and reactance is 0 0.007 ohms per kilometer. So total derating factor for this cable will be equal to 117.93 which is 159 amperes and voltage drop if you calculate voltage drop uh, as per the formula and the voltage drop will be equal to 5.8 percent so 5.8 percent uh, is more than the maximum allowable so it means we can't use this cable here the voltage drop of 70 square mm cable 5.8 percent uh, is higher um, than defined voltage drop 5 percent so either select higher size of cable or increase the number of cable number of um, number of cable runs so if we select two number of uh, run then voltage drop is 2.8 percent which is within limit for 5 percent but to use two runs of uh, cable of 70 square mm cable is not economical so it's necessary to use next higher size of cable so we will select another cable let's see 3.5 core 95 square mm cable for single run short circuit capacity is 8.2 kilo amperes so current capacity of 95 square mm cable is 200 ampere resistance is 0.41 ohms per kilometer and reactance is 0.074 ohm milli, uh, more per kilometers. So total deracting factor in this case will be equal to 187 amp. Voltage drop will be equal to 2.2 percent. To decide 95 square mm cable 
cable selection condition should be checked cable derating uh, ampere 187 amp is higher than full load current at load of 139 amps okay cable voltage drop is also within the limit of 5% no number of runs uh, is equal to 1 okay cable charged capacity 8.2 gram per higher than the system charged capacity at that point 6 kilo ampere okay 95 square mm cable satisfy all three conditions so it's advisable to use 3.5 port mm or 95 square mm cable so this is a uh, very good example for um, calculations so i hope you enjoy this section also thank you very much